What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be testing out an upcoming Dreamcast emulator for Android known as ReDream. Now this has been out for PC and Linux for a little while now. I've made a few videos on it and personally this is my favorite Dreamcast emulator to date. I've been lucky enough to test out the beta, but this will be available for the public very soon. Today is May 14th, 2019, and I've been notified that within a week, this should be on the Play Store. I will be making another video testing this out on lower end hardware, but today I figured I'd go ahead and install it on the Nvidia Shield Android TV, get it up and running, and show you how it performs here. Just like the Windows or Linux version, this is going to be a completely free app, but if you want to up the resolution inside of the emulator, you will have to pay. I think it's 5 or $6 on Android. I know it's $5 on PC, and it's well worth it. But you can totally use this without paying a dime. You're just going to be stuck with the native Dreamcast resolution, and for a lot of people, that's totally fine. It still looks great here. If you end up purchasing the premium license, just go to the video section, and there'll be an option to up the resolution here. Another cool thing that I'm glad the developer added was an FPS counter built into the app itself, so you can turn it on or off from the video section. I'm going to leave it on for this whole video here. From the system section here, you can change the Dreamcast region or language, and you do not need a BIOS for this application to work. As you can see, it'll also scrape your box art, but I'm missing a few here. I believe it's because of the naming convention I used with these ROMs, but a lot of them did take. By the way, this app can easily access external storage. I'm using an 8 terabyte USB 3.0 drive here with all of my games on it. So in this video, I'm just going to be testing out a few of my favorite Dreamcast games and see how they perform on the Nvidia Shield using this new ReDream emulator. Like I said, this is in beta, but I have been informed that this will be released within a week. And today is May 14th, 2019, so keep an eye on the Google Play Store. First up, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I won't bore you going through all of the start menus and everything like that with each of the other games you're going to see, but I did want to go through this real quick. Personally, I'm super stoked about Raid Dream coming to Android, and performance is great on the shield. So I will leave the box art up in the top right hand corner. This is not the emulator doing it, that's me to let you know which game is playing at any given time. So with all that out of the way, enjoy the gameplay. I got about 7 games here, and I'll be back at the end of the video.
drink, you win! So, battle 2, fight! <laughs> Some barrels contain items. Yellow users can contain the level. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching, ReDream is shaping up to be an awesome Dreamcast emulator for Android. This is my personal go to for Windows, I've been using ReDream since it was released, it's a great emulator. But if I need to handle any of Thomas Wave or Naomi, I go back to Raycast or the LR Raycast core inside of RetroArch. And by the way, this will be available for phones and tablets, I just simply demonstrated it on the Nvidia Shield TV, and obviously it works great here. The Shield TV is still a pretty powerful device even in 2019 and I will be testing this on lower end stuff like the Odroid N2 and a few other single board computers that can run Android because I'm interested to see if ReDream will work on those chips also. I will leave a link to the ReDream website in the description, I'm sure they'll have an announcement over there when Android is officially released to the public. I'm also going to leave a link to Amazon in case you're interested in picking up an Nvidia Shield Android TV. This is one of my favorite devices that I've owned and it's never let me down. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, thanks for watching.